Vice President Lenny Robredo slams China after the Chinese Coast Guard drove away a Filipino TV crew from Panatag Shoal or Scarborough Shoal. Robredo says it is scary and it also makes us angry. Robredo is referring to a November 8 incident where the Chinese Coast Guard stopped a GMA-7 team from conducting interviews in Panatag Shoal. The Chinese Coast Guard said the Filipinos cannot proceed with their interviews without the permission of China. Panatag Shoal is found in the West Philippine Sea, which belongs to the Philippines but is claimed by China. Robredo adds, it's sad because this is what they're showing us, that something which belongs to us is being claimed by another, being claimed by China. Roberto also criticizes President Rodrigo Duterte for saying the Philippines can do nothing about China's behavior. The intelligence chief of the Pasay City Police and the man who confessed to killing a model grab driver both died after encounter Sunday, November 25. Police Senior Inspector Manuel Taitayon was declared dead on arrival at the hospital after he was shot by Narc de Lemios, the fugitive who confessed to killing Gerardo Makidato Jr. in 2017. De Lemios died on the spot during the encounter. He escaped the city jail last August 14. De Lemios first surrendered to the police in November 2017 after killing Makidato in October 2017, saying the model grab driver was killed because he fought back. U.S. officials briefly closed a border crossing in Southern California after hundreds of migrants part of the caravan condemned by President Donald Trump tried to breach a fence from Tijuana Sunday, November 25. The shutdown took place three days after Trump threatened to close the whole border with Mexico if it gets to a level where we're going to lose control or people are going to start getting hurt. Border officials in San Diego, California said on Twitter they temporarily closed the San Isidro crossing point to both vehicular and pedestrian traffic. The order was lifted some hours later. Mexican Interior Minister Alfonso Navarrete accused some of the migrants of attempting the Tijuana crossing in a violent way. Navarrete adds, far from helping the caravan, they are hurting it. (laughs) 